In today's savings session, AARP financial ambassador and personal finance expert Gene Chatsky joins us now with tips on how to stash away money for retirement. Gene, we always appreciate having you here. Hey, Angie. Well, sadly, many Americans have no money saved. What did you learn from your recent survey? AARP did a survey and basically figured out that about 60% of people believe that they've got a retirement savings gap. And basically, if you define that, it means when you take your savings and your investments and your social security and you add them up, you don't think they'll sustain you through retirement. What can people do? You can start by getting a grip on where you are. If you haven't put together a plan to get you from today to retirement, if you go to aceyourretirement.org, you'll find a tool that AARP and the Ad Council put together. It'll ask you some questions and it'll prescribe for you a three-step plan to get you on track. That's a good first step. Is there a difference between men and women when it comes to saving for retirement? Absolutely. So more women are fearful that they won't have enough for retirement. About half of all men believe they'll have enough. Only about a third of all women do. And we blame that on the fact that we still earn substantially less than men, that when you Factor in the fact that we take breaks from the workforce to care for kids, to care for older parents. We've got less in our retirement accounts. And there are those unexpected expenses that hit you along the way. But believing that you don't have enough now is not an excuse to, to stay still and not do anything. You want to get yourself going. And that means saving a little bit more tomorrow than you're saving today. And you know, Angie, that my preference is to do it automatically. Wow. Tell us more about mistakes that people are making. Waiting. And, and we know it, right? We, the biggest mistake that we make is not getting started. And it's never too late to make tomorrow a little bit better than today is. So use this segment as a nudge to get yourself to just take one step, to do something, to move some money, and to start saving a little bit more. Good to say, though, it's never too late to start saving. Never too late to start. I've got a new podcast called Closing the Savings Gap, and we took real women and paired them up with financial advisors and help them close their own personal savings gap. You can find it at aarp.org slash closing the gap. And for a lot of these women, it was getting them started with automatic saving and figuring out by looking at their budgets that they actually did have money that they could put away to save just by being a little bit more mindful about how they were spending. I would say, Take a look at what you're saving today. Try to nudge it up by a percent or two and make sure that it's happening automatically. If you don't have a 401k plan at work that's doing this for you, then rig one up yourself. Open an IRA, open a Roth IRA, and every month have some money transferred out of checking into this investment account and put it to work. You gotta make sure that the money is invested so that it can stay ahead of taxes and inflation for your future. Wise words. Thanks again. We hope to have you back, Gene. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.